hello and welcome to the lecture so let's continue with our ajax callback with more examples and we'll start with uh, creating a page item so what our requirement is we will show a list here that's a, a multiple selection and we will add a button in the middle so on the selection with the click of the button there will be another text area that will populate the mail ids so it takes the full name which is displayed and with a written id as the internal and it will try to populate those things in the form of you know a mail id with a comma separated thing so we will start with that so let me create a page item for the first with showing the list of customers so we are starting with this and so it's like a thing you know we have to populate the customers and there should be like a list of values concept and that's a select list so we are about to select a multiple right so we are allowing the multiple selection and and then we have to give the list of values and as you know this uh, tr column system with uh, display value i will use the full name and the customer id with the return value so we will try to add the query here so the display value is the full name full underscore name that is d comma customer id that is r from customers table so this is fine and will validate and it's successful now so let's save it and see our page item how it is done so this is how it is and so we will try to select this thing and whatever the things that are so what happens is so we are selecting this thing right so this is p1 customers let me copy this page item and to this apex dot item dot get value what we have used this one so i'm pasting this apex dot item dot get value what it returns is, is in the form of array and that is to with a list of customer ids so the display value is full name and the return value being the id so it returns me the ids so we have to take this array input and we have to pass it to our uh, server side logic and we have to return that the mail in the form of you know like a printing thing so that's the other response so we will try to you know start with the button now so this has to be a button in the middle so this will add as something you know mail to maybe uh, yeah compose mail maybe compose mail and this would be in the middle and we will define a dynamic action here later on so let's save it this would be in the start new row no need we have to keep it in the new column so that it would be appearing on the right side of the select list which we created so following this we will try to add a you know a text area that populates the our mails for that selected customers and that would be mail just queue mail recipients and this would be a text area so let's save it and we will make this as new column as well so you see that when we try to compose this it will try to make it so let's make this somewhat you know somewhat simple so we will try to define the column span here with the 12 column system we will go with 5 2 and 5 that would be a great choice so we'll go with span as 5 and this would be 2 if you are familiar this is a 12 column system 
and we are splitting this to you know five columns for the first and this would be two and this would be five so that there is no space to be seen and this would be five so totally it would sums up to 12 that's what the thing uh yeah so fine fine for this now we need not play much we'll just add the compose mail and we'll see the list here so that's uh, our requirement so we will try to add our logic here now so we have to add a dynamic action to our button so we'll add a dynamic action that is click as fine and our item should be filled that is the customers they should have some value then only we can try to you know add our thing so our compose mail click we'll give some name here okay so with this execution of javascript and uh, we'll start with creating the ajax process first yeah so we will try to add one to create new process and this would you know populate email populate email and they will add our logic that is the declare and i'm gonna use a club we club out that would be a club because it would be a infinite thing so if we have a lot of names and then we will try to add our logic so we have to start with you know apex application dot g f01 this time it's f01 uh, why because we are using an array here so the array should be you know uh, validated and it should be in a array type right so x01 won't support that otherwise you will get an error or it will be like a string we have to take each element and we have to pass it and add our logic right so this would be an apex application dot g f01 and we will start with the thing that's similar over here we have to loop through for our apex application dot g f01 dot count so this would be the uh, returning me the count of the array which is having here so this would be having you know five which we saw earlier if it selected five so we are using the same way so we'll start with that with this for loop so we will put the end here and we are gonna get our thing so we will try to add the for maybe for i in one dot dot then it's apex application dot it's g f zero one dot count and loop it and then end loop now we will try to add our logic so if you have seen here this is referencing each element so this would be our id once in that array so if it's a first item second item it will be looping through that so for this thing we have to uh, you know get the function forget the value of the email by passing to that uh, so it would be like select uh, you know maybe we'll go to this we are getting the email id i'm not sure what is the right email address right so select email address and this would be returning me the thing what we want so either you can use this way or i prefer using a function now so let's uh, you know declare a function create or replace a function so we will write a declare a function here create or replace function that is you know get email address and that will get the id as number and now is it will return me a varchar2 
and yes begin and we will write a variable that is v email address that is a varchar 2 i'm sure we may alone be that long so we will try to copy this and put into class and paste this and our pid would be here and our end and we need to return our you know the value the v email address so we have to return this and with the this one so we are returning this i'm sure so if you want you can handle uh, other cases as well like adding the no data phone but for sure we are not making errors here we're just uh, trying to learn here so it is created now so i can use this function to get the email id from that client that is the what is passed so we are done with the logic here and as you can see if you are familiar with that we are trying to print the email separated with comma so the we are looping through the arrays and if it's the first element we are gonna store it here and this would be in this variable and if it is other than the first one it will be trying to add the email address of the remaining ids that concatenation we are just using the comma to concatenate and if you look through this and finally at the end of the email we'll be storing this in this the variable we club out and we are printing it with http.p even you can use apex json so i prefer http.p it's just a single value with separated commas and i don't want to add open object or open array so we are just going with the http.p and we will try to check our logic and this uh, is fine and so we are having an error here let me check okay we haven't completed our javascript yes so i'm going to this dynamic action let us uh, complete it and save so this is called apex.server.process and so we'll uh, go back to the process what is populate email so we have to give the exact name here it's a uh, case sensitive populate I'm sure it's it's not it's email then we'll try to add the input this is very important this is f01 for your thing this is not x01 as we saw earlier this is f01 and the input being the apex dot item of that is I'm sure we can take it from here. It would be. I would paste it. And the next one, we have to put the data type as uh, text and the success callback. We are having the function of pData. You can also use arrow function if you're well versed in JavaScript, it works. And I'm gonna print that in the apex.item of the, I'm not sure of the name. I will just uh, set value of uh, pData. So that's mail recipients and going to the dynamic action so this would be mail recipients so 
so we are pasting that and i'm saving it and we'll see our changes as mentioned so let's close this and let me select something and compose a mail and we are getting the mail ids here so these are the mail recipients you can see even if i make changes it will try to apply the same and add more as well so this is the use of the ajax server process where you want to do it as from the client side and where it needs to communicate with the server and not refreshing the page so this is the use of that and that's it now we are able to connect the code between the client and the server using the ajax callback